The number one, though, who's the person that you were like, I need to make sure that I look good in their eyes and I need to make sure that they're good? Of course, I can answer that my children, but my children are actually quite young, so they, they weren't overly concerned because at their age, you know, dad's away, whatever. Um, I'm not entirely sure. I think it was just an overarching view of everything. And I, I felt a frustration because I had built this monumental empire and it got seized from me, which is a whole nother conversation we can go down when you talk about ownership and property and how the matrix works. You don't own anything. Well, well you never do. I mean, you owned all this, but then they're like, that's right. So what do you own? You own the body you're in perhaps, but then they force you to get a vaccine. So maybe you don't own that anymore. You own your soul. You can own your thoughts, but then that belongs to God. So then what do you even own now on this planet? Because I have people say to me all the time, oh, I'd love to buy a house. And I own my house. You don't own that house. You have to pay property taxes every month. And if you don't pay them, they'll take it off you. You're renting it from the government. D piss the government off and you'll see how long you own your house. Because I tell you what's going to happen. They're going to turn up with a piece of paper and say it's ours. Done. Happened to me. So you never even own anything on this earth, no matter how much money you have, right? Which also puts money in perspective. All it is is the time and energy of other people. It's all it's good for. You can buy a Bugatti, but you don't own that Bugatti. You can drive it a bit if they let you. And piss the matrix off enough, they'll take that off you too. So the whole world, if you actually start analyzing how it all works, it's interesting. But yeah, my concerns in jail were for absolutely everybody else. And that's perhaps why I'm...